All right, so today we're going to talk about the word remarkable. And when I think about that word remarkable, it's always seemed to me to be so big, so unattainable for an ordinary person, so unattainable for me. But I wanted to do a little research and just find out what does the word mean and how could it impact our everyday life? So when I did a little research and I looked up the definition of the word, we Google it like everybody does, I found that the word remarkable means worthy of attention, striking, notable or conspicuously unusual, extraordinary. So with that definition, I'm thinking, yeah, this is big. This is bigger than me. So when I think about worthy of attention, when I think about somebody who's worthy of attention, my thoughts go to Laura Bickamer, a teacher from Ohio. She was a math teacher who made no more than $40,000 a year, but somehow managed to save $2.1 million, which in her death donated to her alma mater, Baldwin Wallace University. And she made sure that some of that money was given back as scholarship money for teachers like her who had, didn't have the money to become teachers, but wanted to anyway. And because of that school and the scholarship they gave her, she was able to live her dream and now give that dream to others. That's definitely worthy of notice. When we think about extraordinary, we think about people like Caitlin Roig, a teacher at Sandy Hook Elementary, who was able to save all 15 of her first graders and love it by, by putting them in the bathroom with her and loving, through, loving them through the entire ordeal. That's extraordinary. And when we think striking or notable, I'm thinking of my new friend Marcy, who I recently met on a flight to New Hampshire after bonding over our love of antibacterial wipes. Marcy told me the story of her daughter, Mackenzie, who tragically died at the age of 17. And Marcy realized at that point in her life that she had a choice. She had the choice to remain sad, to remain lonely, to remain afraid. Or she had the choice to celebrate the gifts and the life that, Marcy, that her daughter Mackenzie led. And as an organ donor, Mackenzie donated her lives to several extraordinary people, and Marcy decided that she was gonna make it her goal to go out and meet every single one of those people that were able to live extraordinary lives because of her daughter's gift. And through that, she's found a remarkableness in herself and in others, and she's choosing her sh to share her story with the world. And I feel like that is notable. So when we look at these examples, oh, and the best one, if we think about conspicuously unusual, there's nothing about this guy that's not leaving a mark. <laughs> so when we think about these people, we think big. They are doing big things. Things are coming out of tragedy. Things of great personal sacrifice. So I still wondered, how could this affect my life? How could this affect our lives in terms of the word remarkable? How could we bring it down to our everyday world? And so in talking with my colleague, Tina, when I told her I might do a speech about the word remarkable, she said, ah, remarkable, to leave one's mark in that lofty way that only someone with a doctorate can pull off. And as she said that, it kind of stayed with me, and I thought, well, if Remarkable is about leaving a mark, couldn't we all do that? So I would, um, I would argue that the second we enter the world, excuse me, that the second we enter the world, we're making a mark before we can even speak. When a mother or father holds their newborn for the very first time, an indelible mark is left, and the baby has done nothing but utter a tiny cry. So, I wanted to dig a little deeper and think, how could we bring this word down? So I looked at the origin of the word, and this is the one I really connected with, with Tina saying, you know, to leave a mark. And um, the idea that this word is based on the French word, very, from very far back, 1600, remarque, to be observable or worthy of notice. Well, aren't we all able to be worthy of notice every single day of our lives? Aren't we all leaving a mark every single day? So. What is our responsibility then? It can be as big as Laura and Caitlin and Sai, but it can be as small as the way that we acknowledge the cashier when we bought our coffee this morning. Did you acknowledge them? That's how we're leaving our mark. How are we going to be worthy of notice in our everyday lives? So from this point on, every, every interaction in our life should now be considered remarkable, and we get to decide the mark that was being left. And as human beings, we're not perfect. And so what we don't realize is sometimes the marks are positive, but sometimes they're negative. Sometimes these marks are conscious, but sometimes they're unconscious. And these marks can be big or small. And I want to bring this idea, this idea of leaving our mark in positive ways into conscious thought and put into practice the idea of leaving positive marks wherever we go. So I began my journey with remarkability on March 20th, 2016. And on that day, I decided that I was going to look for the remarkableness in myself and the everyday remarkableness I could find in my life. So as I'm driving my daughter to ballet class, this 
skies are about to open up and I look over and I see a man standing at the bus stop. And I pull over the car and I hand him my umbrella and I say, please use this. And if you can't use it or you don't need it, please pass it on to someone who does. And so I drove away and as I drove away, I remember thinking, you know, that may or may not have been remarkable for that man, for that gentleman, but for me it felt remarkable and I know that it left a mark on my five-year-old sitting in the back seat who'd never seen her mom do anything like that before. As we went through our day, we started noticing remarkability in everybody. We started noticing all the people that were leaving marks on us. It's like when you buy a new car and then suddenly you see that car everywhere on the road that you never noticed before. Remarkability was everywhere. And as we sat down to dinner that night, we happened to get seated in Elise's section. Elise greeted our table with kindness, with compliments. We watched her walk over into other server sections and welcome returning customers back, even though she wasn't even their waitress. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for being here. It's so nice to see you. She treated every table, including those who weren't her own, like they were the only table in the restaurant. She even brought us extra croutons on our salad. Is there anything better than that at an Olive Garden restaurant? No way. So because I'm noticing remarkability and because I'm making this my new goal, um, we we're watching the joy in Elise. We're watching the joy in a job that can be physically demanding and definitely underpaid. But I wanted her to understand what a difference she'd made. So because we were looking for remarkability, I said to Elise how she'd made a mark on our family that day. And she, um, she looked at us with tears in her eyes and she said, you know, thank you, like no one's ever noticed that before. And I asked her if I could take a picture with her to remember the day. And as we were leaving, she was thanking us with kind words and those little minty chocolates that we love. And our family's four is walking out of the restaurant laughing about their crazy mother who's taking pictures with the server. And the whole way home, my little family of four is thinking about our remarkability and the way we're leaving marks. His little sister drops a book that she can't reach and Will picks it up and says, look, I'm leaving a mark. Remarkability is contagious. Maya Angelou said that she's come to understand that people remember the things that you say. And she's come to understand that people will remember the things that you do. That people will not will always remember the things that you do. But they will remember the way that you made them feel. Imagine a world where we focus on the gift we've been given to be remarkable and we celebrate that everyday remarkableness of others. And I would argue that focusing on remarkability in our everyday life cuts across every self-help book you can find out there, I could save you tons of money because all those books are about is finding the joy and the happiness in your life and noticing in other people and bringing that joy from them into your life as well. Contour Next has a campaign, hashtag be remarkable. It encourages people with diabetes to live a full and active life, to dream big and achieve big things. Dr. Randy Ross has started the uh, Remarkable Movement, which is a campaign that fosters awareness of the remarkable acts that are going on in the world, and he helps leaders become remarkable to inspire us all. But I, I want to challenge everybody today that we start our own grassroots awareness. We start our own social media campaign where we start to recognize the remarkability in all of us, those sitting in the room and everybody hearing this today. That we recognize the remarkability, the remarkableness of others, and we share it with the world. That everybody who hears this today makes today their March 20th. That we look for people who show kindness times 10, as my 10-year-old son said. Or we look for people that didn't have to but did anyway. That we thank the cashier at the grocery store and we tell them how remarkable they are when they make sure we don't leave without using every coupon available to us. That when a 10 year old boy climbs a thorny spiky tree, he wanted to make sure you knew that, to get a neighbor's football down, that we celebrate how remarkable he was. And that we notice the remarkableness in an Amazon delivery guy who works on a Sunday to ensure our free two day shipping. We want to stop and we want to say thank you and take a picture with them. Post it with hashtag remarkable acts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever your favorite social media platform is. Like how millions of tiny water droplets bond to form a tremendous wave. Recognizing and celebrating the smallest acts of remarkability in our everyday bits of life can create a powerful wave of change. And together, in one place, we can do that. So join me and Elise at hashtag remarkable. Hashtag Remarkable Acts, and we'll see you there along with every other remarkable person we can find. Let's celebrate the remarkable lives we've all been given. Thank you.